Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. My name is Hanuman Sadwa and in this video we are going to write a program to find the sum of all array elements. Let us write the preprocessor directives hash include stdio.h hash include conio.h void main function and curly open brace and here we are going to declare all the necessary variables which are required and to be used in a program and here i am going to use the data type int and array a of size 10 comma i sum is equal to 0 and here i am going to write n and now we will write printf statement and here in a double quotation mark we will ask the user how many elements end the double quotation mark put semicolon and we are going to receive the value from the user through keyboard using scanf function and in a double quotation mark we will write the format the specifier percentage d end the double quotation mark comma ampersand of n and put semicolon now we are going to enter the elements one by one using printf statement here we are going to display the message to the end user to enter the elements backward slash n double quotation mark and semicolon and in order to insert elements one by one we are going to use for loop for i is equal to 0, i is less than n, i plus plus. Now, we will write scanf to receive each element at a time. So, in percentage t in a double quotation mark and comma ampersand of array a of i and then semicolon. Once again, we are going to use for loop for i is equal to 0, i is less than n and i plus plus. Now, we are going to perform the sum that is we will write sum is equal to sum plus a of i and put semicolon now let us print the value stored in this variable that is sum in double quotation mark we will write sum is equal to percentage d and here we will put end the double quotation mark comma and write the variable sum and semicolon now we will write get ch function and then we will curly closing brace. Now let us take an example. Here I am going to write output. Once we compile and run this program, it will ask the user to enter uh, how many elements. Here it is going to print how many elements. So for example, I am going to enter 5. Now you can see here scanf percentage d ampersand n. So here n is receiving value 5. So enter the elements. After this, it is going to ask the user to enter the elements. And because of backward slash n, cursor will come down to the next line. For example, I'm going to enter 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So here through this iteration, so a of 0 because i is 0 for the first time and it increments by 1 a of 1 and so on so it will be mapped in a memory in a consecutive order something like this you can see it with the index number 0 1 2 3 and 4 and name of this array is a so after inserting the elements you can see here we have got sum is equal to sum plus a of i now let us perform this particular step here we have written for i is equal to 0 means a of 0 a of 0 consisting of what 1 sum is for the first time it is 0 so how exactly it is going to calculate sum is equal to sum for the first time 0 plus a of 0 is having value 1 0 plus 1 is 1 so this one will be stored in a variable called sum again control transfers back to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i is equal to 1 again we are going to perform this particular 
step because 1 is less than or equal to 5 because n value is 5. So hence it is true once again this particular statement will get executed sum is equal to sum. Now sum value is 1 plus a of 1. a of 1 consisting of what? 2. So 1 plus 2 is 3. So 3 will be stored in sum. Once again control transfers back to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1. Now the value of i is 2. 2 is less than 5. Correct? Yes, it is true. Once again, this particular statement will get executed. Sum is equal to sum is now 3 plus a of 2 consisting of what? It is consisting of value 3. So 3 plus 3 is 6. Once again, the control transfers back to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1. Here, the i value is 3. So 3 is less than 5. Hence, it is true. So here this 6 value is stored in sum. It is true means once again this particular statement will get executed. Sum is equal to sum plus a of 3. So here sum is 6 plus a of 3 consisting of value 4. So 6 plus 4 is 10. So this 10 will be stored in sum. Again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1. Now i value is 4. 4 is less than 5. Condition is true. Hence, it is going to execute this statement once again. So, sum is equal to sum plus a of 4. So, here sum is 10 plus a of 4 consisting of value 5. So, 10 plus 5 is 15. So, this value 15 will be stored in sum. Once again, control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1. Now, i value is 5 less than 5. So, i is less than 5? No, condition is false. Once the condition is false, this particular statement will not get executed. So, control directly comes out of the looping structure and it is going to print the next statement. So, here you can see we have got sum is equal to percentage %d and sum. What is the value stored in sum? 15. So, it is going to display 15. Let us execute this program. For that, I will take you to my laptop screen. Here you can see I have already uh, written this program in Turbo C++ compiler to save your time. Now it's time to compile this program by pressing Alt F9. Here it is showing success means there is no syntax error. I'll press enter and now it's time to run the program by pressing Ctrl F9. Here it is asking the user how many elements. Here for example I'm going to enter 5 and then I am going to enter 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 elements and now I am going to press enter. So here you can see it is showing sum is equal to 15 by adding 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 4 is 10, 10 plus 5 is 15. I hope you understood. If so, please write in a comment box understood. Thank you.